Hello, everybody. It is I, James, coming back at you with another homeless story. And I'm here today without the sock, just telling you another personal story. So I was going through all the comments of my latest videos, and what struck me was how many people have addiction experience that find my channel. It's like most of you, at least that's the way it feels. I understand that people with corresponding experiences end up posting comments in the comments section, and so it ends up feeling like everybody has these similar experiences, but it feels that way, as if I've gathered a bunch of addicts here. Well, again, welcome to another video. And in my comment section were also a bunch of addicts who were further down the road of sobriety than I am right now by quite a ways. And one of the very interesting and motivational things they say is that this mental fog eventually clears, right? And right now, that's something that has me pretty paranoid. So that got me thinking, why don't I open up an old diary from way back when, when I went to rehab, and oof, this diary was dark. So I went to rehab like four to five years ago, I want to say a year and a half before my very first video posted on this channel. That's when I went to rehab. And initially, I was there for three months. The VA paid the whole 90 days stay. At the end of those 90 days, I had nowhere to go. Little did I know there was something called the Homeless Veterans Program or something like that. Maybe Homeless Veterans Assistance Program program. Some acronym that I don't remember. Anyway, this homeless veterans program says the VA can pay any, any rehab facility that accepts this program a wage or a rent, I guess, for me to live at that rehab center as I had nowhere else to go. So if you don't know what I just said, let me say it like this. I was in rehab for nine months. I don't know if any of my viewers are a little bit more affluent and you've ever stayed in a hotel for nine months. I'm sure even that drove you crazy. Yes, I lived in a rehab facility for nine months. The first three months, I was just like anybody else in the rehab facility. I didn't get a phone. I couldn't go anywhere. I had to follow all the rules, do the chores, of course, take part in all of the different workshops and programs that the rehab facility ran. But after those three months were up and I began my six month residency, I got my phone back and I just lived there. In these nine months living in a rehab facility are many, many stories for another day. But here we're just talking about symptoms. And I kind of realized while I was reading my diary that there are three really major withdrawal symptoms that I don't get anymore. And those three things are this. The first being visual snow, the second being sleep paralysis, and the third, night terrors. Who would have thought, right? Being paralyzed in your sleep freaks you out and makes you have a night terror. Well, this is big because I get these symptoms a ton while I was still using. And I know this is about to sound a little strange, what I'm going to say here. Those are three pretty significant things for someone to like regularly experience. But for some reason, I didn't even notice it until I went to rehab. And I know that makes zero sense. Like, all of it had just kind of become normal to me. But first, any addicts here listening, I'm going to talk about visual snow, and I want to know if you've ever gotten this. Generally, the day after, I would wake up and almost always, part of my visual field would really look like an old staticky TV. And somewhere in the middle of that, would be this thing I'd call like the wire spider, right? It almost just looked like a bunch of wires that would move in kind of like this indescribable way. It wouldn't trace with your vision. You could like look right and look left and it would stay where it's at. It would kind of drift and move and sort of do its own weird thing, right? Sometimes you could try and follow it and it would move away from you. Sometimes it would let you follow it. And, and there it is, visual snow, it was very strange. Like, every time I woke up, not only would I have that kind of snowy, staticky visual effect, I'd actually see, like, this wire-type spider. Like, wherever I looked, it would be there. Above whatever surface, kind of just being ephemeral and moving in and out of existence, I guess. 
right? Like really what I imagine what was going on is a part of my brain was just completely misfiring and not sending information to my eye. And so my eye is picking up information that my brain isn't recognizing. So I think that just another part of my brain or something was trying to like decipher this information and it just came out as what I call the wire spider. Did anybody else ever get kind of visual snow or the wire spider while getting sober. Another one is sleep paralysis. And I didn't put this one together for the longest time, but I distinctly remember my first time ever getting sleep paralysis. And it was horrible, but it was also after a night of heavy drinking. I would continue to get sleep paralysis and it kind of ended at some point. Some point after rehab, like I've even relapsed since then and I've once in a while after a relapse I get the visual snow but I don't get this sleep paralysis thing anymore so for me when I'm using a lot of the time when I'd fall asleep I would get a very distinct sensation that it's going to happen and this is like before even laying down, I can't describe it. It's somewhere in like the back of my skull. And like, I would just know it's about to happen. And a lot of the times while I was falling asleep, I'd hear like a loud noise, like a mechanical noise or like a buzz. And sometimes I swear it would like vibrate my skull. It would be like, right? And like I'd almost swear it was shocking. Like I, you, and you were like half asleep when this happened right and it's loud it's like a loud internal buzzing coming from the inside of your skull okay it's freaky as hell like if you it's freaky it's freaky especially when you wake up alone and you're an addict with no one to talk to and you're just like jesus christ do i have like brain cancer or something what is this you know you look around you're like is anybody in my room did i just fall and the times my sleep paralysis didn't have any type of sound connected to it, I just start getting sucked in. But the thing is, I would like 100% of the time become aware as I was falling asleep, but it felt like I was being sucked into sleep. Like just as my consciousness was starting to turn over to the other side, you know what I mean? Like I don't know how to describe it. And it was the scariest thing over and over. Like I'd had a bad sleep paralysis experience once so whenever this happened to me like internally i would panic so badly just doing anything i can to slosh my body side to side like shake my head bite my tongue do anything to just move and wake up and the third you know night terrors nobody really likes to hear about bad dreams but i've had tons of really terrible dreams from people i don't know assassinating me to pulling worms out of my skin to someone stealing my old military backpack and then you know drawing me into an area where I was like dismembered like just really shitty dreams <laughs> so I'm not going to talk too much about the actual dreams because I'm very well aware that nobody likes listening to dream stories they're awful everybody has them right but I am interested to know did anybody out there have like these three things like visual snow, sleep paralysis, and then night terrors? And like separately too, like not always together. Sometimes you'd have that visual snow and you know, that's generally when I was waking up. Sometimes I'd have sleep paralysis and no night terror. Like the whole terror part was just anticipating hearing this noise and having this like strange, indescribable sensation where I knew it was going to happen. Like, I cannot describe it to you how I felt, but when I felt this kind of, like, feeling in the back of my skull, I knew I was going to hear this loud, shocking noise as soon as I fell asleep. Other times, I'd be... Other times, I'd be convinced I was going to get the most restful night of my life, only to be absolutely tortured by my subconscious. <clears throat> And I've experienced a lot of things getting sober this time, but nothing so extreme. Something that I left out too was auditory hallucinations. I did have those, but that was that was really when I went to rehab, because when I wanted to detox, like at that time, I think six days being sober was like the longest I had been sober in like close to ten years. 
And so I, I had some auditory hallucinations. But those only happened for like three days, and I never really had those again. They did happen a couple times before, but always so infrequently that I'd never really considered them. So you listening, what I want to know is, did you experience what I experienced, or did you go through something else? Like, I know of a lot of the more common stuff, and I have a lot of the more common stuff right now. Like, I still have raccoon face, right? That weird vitamin deficiency that you get from drinking way too much. My eyes are really pale and my face is really red. That's just going to take time. Dropping stuff. I drop stuff constantly. Go to fill water and just move. And I move too fast and spill everything. It's like I'm learning how to move again sometimes. Slurring my words. I will slur my words. Even little things, like while I'm streaming. I really only have a couple people who watch my streams. But if I start streaming for like over an hour I'll start mixing their names up you know like I have four people watching me and it says who's talking and I will just and I'll call them routinely by the wrong name completely on accident so it's kind of bright side like obviously I have a dumpy brain it's getting better but compared to the past it is actually bright side it is actually better than visual snow because that's freaky it's actually way better than sleep paralysis because screw sleep paralysis and it's way better than night terrors you know it's a little weird that kind of the worst week of my life maybe one of them for sure like four to five years ago is kind of a major point of inspiration today so if you've been an addict or if you changed something very significant in your life that required a lot of time let's say What's something you're glad you're over and no longer have to deal with? Because I'm pretty glad that I no longer have to deal with visual snow and sleep paralysis. And let me tell you, the sleep paralysis plus the auditory thing, that is straight up X-Files territory. Too scared to even sleep.